Hi, it's Coach Tony Morgan, and today's video is going to be called Spaghetti Junction. As you can see, you can see all these wires all mangled. We've come out to this job to sort out this problem. The problem is, is that the customer can't control the heating system properly. It's on an underfloor heating system. Um, you've got these pumps, that one there and that one there. Also what I noticed, when you turn the timer off, the boiler keeps firing and then overheats. So I'll demonstrate what happens. So this is the boiler, you can see the green light on. That means the burner's on. And it's on because the timer's on, as you can see the light on there. So when I turn the timer off, the boiler carries on running and then overheats. So the timer's off. If we go over to the boiler, why they're still firing. Very shortly the temperature will start increasing. Right, you can see the temperature rapidly going up now and the burner is still on. All the controls are off but the boiler is still firing. You can see it's going to go into overheat now. In a minute it's going to start banging and clanking. So this is not good. We're going to show you some more horrors on this system. Yeah, it's gone on 100 degrees now. And the boiler is still firing. I think the burner's gone off now. No, the burner's gone off now. So it's gone right up. So that's a point. It's by the not turning off, gone right up. So 102 now. And it'll probably throw up an error code, which in fact I think it is. The other fault on this system is that there's no bypass. You can see it's a zone valve system, that's an S plan. So you've got a zone valve there and one here. And there's no bypass. Do you have a horror story I'm going to show you? See this bell wire here, what they've got, this is going to the room thermostat and they've got a permanent supply to a room thermostat straight off the spur switch which turns off one of these valves. We just open it now just to let a bit of circulation. So they've got a bell wire, as I said, on this heating system and they're using 240 volts and it's off at permanent supply to a room thermostat. So our mission is to correct all this problem, rewire all this. We're gonna put in a wiser kit free because I've got two thermostats. One thermostat's going up this wire here using bell wire, goes up there. And the other one goes that way, also on bell wire. So as I said, we're going to put a, new, a wiser kit free system in, rewire this. This is going to be done by one of my students who's done my mentorship program, Marius, and he's going to sort this out. Now this job's been put in by guys who may be three, four years ahead of him in installation, in electrics, in boilers, and the gone and done is a mess. So we're going to sort it out. Right, this is the part two of our little video on rewiring the spaghetti junction, what I said earlier. So we've now put a new Drayton free system in and what we've done, we've made it wireless. These are our two wireless thermostats which control the downstairs and upstairs, upstairs heating. So we're just going to show you that the boiler's been controlled properly as it should, it turns off. Earlier you've seen that the boiler was running constantly, though the controls are turned off. Now put Marius on because Marius did the work, he um, sorted out the mess, what was left, what you've seen. So we're going to explain what's been going on and how he's uh, mastered it. Alright, Marius, just let people know what you've done. Okay, so um, let's have a look. So this uh, wiser box has three outlets. 
two for heating, one for hot water. So now one hot, hot water had to go to a cylinder stat, which is down here, which is down here. Yeah, so that's the cylinder stat there. That right, sort of activates um, then the zone valve. So it here. activates this one. Activates. Once the zone valve opens fully, it fires up the boiler. That's right, so the boiler is currently on. Is it? Yep. Yep, so the boiler's on. So what we're going to now demonstrate, we're going to turn down the, the cylinder thermostat so the boiler goes off. You just turn the cylinder thermostat down. Yep. So the burn light has gone off now. So you can see it's been controlled properly. Now we're going to show you the heating side, what we did. So on the heating side, initially what I did was drop down two wires into the box which separately control two different zone valves. So you've got this one here, this one upstairs and this one's for downstairs. Now normally you'd have an orange coming out from this into the boiler and from this into the boiler and then you would have a pump coming from the same oranges if you had one pump mm -hmm. we have two pumps now so if you want to control upstairs only yeah you would have both pumps on and if only downstairs both pumps on but you don't want that so what I had to do was to wire the pumps to the zone valve so the brown to the zone valve mm -hmm. and brown to the pump so both motors then come on simultaneously and then fire up the boiler right. from the zone valve. Right, right. That's how it worked basically. And that's how you can separate the two systems. Right. So we've got on these two systems we've got underfloor heating, so it's even more complicated. But my student Marius mastered this. <coughs> now Thanks to Coach Tony Morgan. Yeah, now taking into the fact how long have you been basically on that training program and basically how long have you been involved in this heating industry just doing boilers how long has it been well um not very long um like very active you know, of course training for about a year and then doing practical work for since august um like when i went out with you Right, first. Yeah. So it was August 2019, that's when you started yeah, that's your, right, yeah. your program. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And we're just in, well, coming near the end of Jan. Yeah. And look at the level you are already. Doing this type of work and he's mastered it. So I'm very proud of Marius, what he's achieved because, as I said earlier, whoever put this system in must have been, I don't know, three, five years ahead of you in experience but yet they couldn't do this so we're just going to explain a bit more about this um, system so you've got these two thermostats as we said so just show us how these work okay so first to activate and then target temperature is in the corner here and this is the ambient temperature so we want to go in a little bit so that's, I heard it make a switch so that's come on and it can hear one of the valves opening. That valve. So that one's opening. <coughs> and the simultaneously. Pump, the pump's on, yeah. So the pump's running, this is for the underfloor heating. And then the boiler will fire up very shortly. And that. It's already fired up. Okay, and then the other one, this is for the upstairs. So what we did with these, these replaced. I remember this wiring, what we I shown you, that was the wiring going up to the firm set upstairs which the cowboy installer put it put it like that so these thermostats have took the place um let's just turn that one up now we have gone a bit too far you can adjust yeah. that's it so it's oh, that's on, on boost now yeah so this valve is now opening that's for the upstairs. You can hear that clicking open. So, 
it's working as it should. The bar is not overheating. It shuts off when all the controls tell it to stop. So it's doing as it should. So as I said, well done Marius for conquering such a task. I knew you could do it. That's why I let you do it. So if you want to join our elite crew of engineers, you know what to do. Go to our website, check out our mentorship program and you can join the journey of Marius and the others. So thank you for watching our video and we'll see you on the next one.